Welcome to the Sudoku Primer channel where we solve Sudoku without using candidates. This is puzzle number 89 from Sudoku to Go volume 153 and we're going to talk about twins and how they fit in containers today. More on that later. You can print this puzzle so that you can follow along in, with the video if you'd like to. Just click on the link in the description below and you'll be able to print it. Or you can go to sudokuprimer.com and go to the menu item, Print YouTube Puzzles Before You Watch. And you can print this puzzle and then you can you know, write in the numbers as we go along. Before we start, let's talk about containers. There are three types of containers, rows, columns, and boxes. There are nine of each of those, nine rows, nine columns, and nine boxes. Many people call containers houses in Sudoku, but I call them containers, um, but they're the same thing. Each of these container types, that is rows, columns, and boxes, have exactly nine cells in them, and they can hold nine numbers, and they can only hold one of each number. Now, twins are affected by containers, and let me give you an example of that. Let's say these are three, four twins right here. I'm sure they're not, but um, let's say these are three, four twins right here. That means these twins are in the same box, box six, and the same column, column eight. So in this example, these twins are in two containers. And that's to your advantage, and I'll show you that in a minute. But we can also have twins, like three, four twins right here. And these three, twin, three four twins are only in one container. They're only in, in, a, in the same box. They're in different rows and different columns. Yeah, keep that in mind as we go along. Well, let's get started. Let's uh, start solving this. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about as we go along here is there are, um, there are ways to look for twins and triplets and quadruplets and that. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. As you, as you do cross-hatching, like you got a one here, a one here, so the one is there. Um, the one can only be in one of two cells in box three here. So now we can look and see if we can find a twin for that. In this case, we've got a nine here, and there's already a nine in the box. So um, these can't be one nine twins. But any time that you find a situation where you've only got two, two places in a box, in a row, in a column, where one number can fit, you can look for twins. All right, so you got one, 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 one can go anywhere there. And we got ghost ones there, one there, so one there, one, one, one. All right, let's look for twos, two. Okay, two can only go in one of these two cells. So let's see if we can find a twin. Seven's already in that box, so that won't work. There's an eight there. Oh, there's an eight there. So that, those are two eight twins. Okay, so let's keep that in mind as we go along. Um, now, these twins are in only one container. They're only in box two. They're, they're in different rows and different columns. So we can actually look at um, this box to see if we can find anything. Well, we've got a, uh, um, let's see, two here, eight here. So we're missing one, three, five, six. Uh, yeah, one, three, five, and six in this box. So we could have one. Remember the two eight twins here. One, 
three, five there, five, and there's a six here. It can't, can't be there because these are two eight twins. So six can be in one of these cells here. But look at this, there's a six here and a six here. Ghost six is there. So that has to be a six right there. And we've got nines here. So these were actually six nine twins. Uh, but with that six, we can solve them. And I found the six before I looked for a twin on the six nines there. But again, in that, in that situation, the six could only go in one of two cells. And then with this one, it could only go into one. So we could have looked for twins and found that nine and, and put in the nine there before I put the six in, I mean. All right, um, let's, let's just see if we can find a few numbers here. So you've got a four here, four here. There's a four right there. Well, here's a nine and a nine, so that's a nine right there. All right. And as you're doing cross-hatching, like I was doing when I found these two eight twins here, notice how um, my example of looking for twins and finding them er quicker Here's a five and here's a five, so the five has to be here or here. Okay, so that makes me think, oh, there might be a set of twins there. On We put a nine right there and there's a nine right there, so these are five nine twins. So anytime you're, you find only two places for a number, look for a twin there as you're going along. All right, now again, these twins are only in one container because they're not in the same row or column because they're a little offset here on the column part. All right, but uh, now since we've got uh, six here and six here, with these five nine twins there, that has to be a six. So I'm going to fill that in right now. All right. Now let's see, right? Let's see if we can find something else. Oh, okay, we've got a three and an eight here. If we're looking for threes or cross-hatching with threes, for example, notice the three can only go here or here, and then, oh, that can only be two, one of two cells. So let's try and find a twin. Well, we've got an eight here and eight here. So these are three eight twins. We can't solve the three eight twins, but that makes these four and six. And we do have a four there, so we can fill in those. All right, and now with these sixes and that six we just filled in, that makes that a six. So I hope you can kind of see what I mean by uh, looking for twins and finding them quicker. All right, now we've got an eight here. Uh, ghost eights here, so that makes that an eight right there, and that also makes. Remember our two eight twins. We can fill those in now. That's an eight, and that's a two, and because of that, we can fill in our three eight twins there. So see how these four six twins that we found and three eight twins uh, helped us find quite a few numbers there. All right, now let's look at column four here. We're only missing one, two, five. One, two, and five. Got a one here and a one here, so that's a one right there. That makes these two five twins right there. Sorry, I had my phone making noises there, so I turned that off. Okay, now we have a 2-5 there, 2-5 twins there, so that means we know what these two numbers are. 
one, two, three, five, six, seven. These are three and seven, so we can fill those in. And that makes this one, one and five right there, which we can't solve. Okay. And, uh, All right, let's move ahead now. Now remember we have these five nine twins right here. And with these five nine twins, um, it looks like we can put a four here, here, or here, but since these are five nine twins, the four has to, is constrained to row eight here. So we got four here, ghost fours here, um, and a four there, so that makes that a four. Right. And then with that, those fours and that one, we can put a four right there. All right, now we're missing in row one here, two, five, seven, two, five, and seven. And there's a two and a seven, so that's a five. All right. And remember, we had a, a one here. We looked for a twin and we couldn't find it. Well, let's see if we can find a twin there now. We've got a six here. We've got a four and an eight, so the four and eight can't be a twin. Uh, but we do have a six right there. So that these are one six twins. That makes these two seven twins. That makes these one, two, three, four, three, five twins right there, which we can solve. I don't think we can solve the one six twins and we can't solve the two seven twins. But we're able to fi find the three five twins there. All right. And in this situation, we've got uh, twins in two containers. We've got twins in box three and we've got twins in column nine. So let's see what we can do with twins in column nine here. Got one six here, so that means we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, seven, eight, and nine. And so that's two, three, seven, nine, two, three, seven, eight, nine, two, three, seven, eight, nine. And that's two, three, seven, eight, nine, and two, three, seven, eight, nine. I don't think we can do anything with that right now. Unless, let, let me look at this a little closer. We got one and six here. Two, three, seven, eight, nine. So two, seven, nine, three, seven, two, nine. So two, seven, nine, two, nine, and two, three. Nope, we can't find any twins there or anything. All right. Let's see what we're missing in here. We're missing two, seven, and nine right here. Because I remember the two sevens here, so that two of these numbers had to be two and seven. There's a nine there and a nine there, so that makes that a nine right there. All right, and with that nine, we got a nine there, so that makes that a nine. And then we've got, remember our five nines here? Now we know that's a five, so we'll put a nine there and a five there. All right, and our two fives right here in box eight that we have that we found earlier, there's a five there, so that makes that a five and that a two. All right, and now we've got a two and a four here, so these are two four twins, so that makes that a seven. Right. And with that 7 and that 7, we can make that a 7, and that gives us a uh, 2 up here. Remember our two 7s in this column and in this row right there. All right, now we're missing 2, 3, and 9 here. There's 3 and 9, so that's a 2. 
There's a nine, so that's a three and a nine for completing box nine. All right, now we've got, remember our one six twins right here. We're miss, let's see what we're missing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry, there's a six or three. Six, seven, eight. Three, seven, and eight right there. There's a three and an eight there. So that makes that a seven. And there's a eight right there. So that's a three and that's an eight. All right, now let's look at row four here. We're missing two, or one, two, five. One, two, and five. There's a two and a five, so that's a one right there. There's a two, so that's a five, and that's a two. All right, now we're missing one and five right there. Can't solve those yet. We've only got one number missing here, that's a seven. All right, and now we're missing one, three, six, one, three, and six here. There's a one there, so that's a one. There's a three, so that's a three, and that's a six. Now we can solve our one sixes here. All right. And now we have a two and a four there still. Uh, let's see. Let's look, uh, we're missing one and seven there. We can fill those in with that seven. And then, um, let's see, we're missing two, three, and four. Two, three, and four in this column. Two, four there. So there's two, three, so that's a four right there. So that makes that two and that a four. All right, now we're missing two, three, five right here. There's a three, so that's a three, and two, and five. And then um, five and one in box six right there. Five there and one there. All right, we got it. Well, I hope this video has seen you, helped you see, um, first of all, how to spot twins quickly, and second, how twins in two containers are more helpful than twins in one container. Well, thank you for watching, and check out the, uh, some more of my 300 plus videos out there on this channel.